go. <laughs> hey guys, just trying to get this set up real quick. Just give it about a minute more and then we'll go ahead and get started. Great, hi, so just a uh, quick announcement. Today we will be using weights in class. Um, if you don't have weights, have anything else that would kind of suit that purpose, right? So maybe you grab, um, I was laughing earlier saying, you know, two bottles of wine, right? Two bottles of wine would end up being about two and a half pounds. Um, other options that you can use if you have weights, by all means, use that. You will be using the places that I posted um, on my Instagram account as well as on Facebook. If you are friends with me there, by all means, um, Feel free to utilize that during your class. You can play it on Alexa or any other device. Viva Vinyasa Yoga is my Instagram page or Ashley White is my Facebook page. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, starting off on our back. We're coming to increase our position. You can allow the feet to come together, knees wide, placing whatever you're utilizing as weights at the top of the mat. And then just finding yourself grounded, and relax down here. Palms facing up. We're just gonna accept a little bit more energy for our practice. And then deep breath in, deep breath down. I'm becoming aware of all the sensations in the body whether they're good or bad, just noticing how you are placed here on the mat today. We'll take about five more breaths. <laughs> And last breath in, and last breath out. Take the hands towards the legs. You're gonna draw the knees into the chest nice and slow. Hold on to the shins. And then it's just a little sway from side to side. Take the knees and drop them over to the left nice and slow. Arms out in T or cactus. Gaze out over your right shoulder. And then draw the knees back in through centers over to the opposite side. Pivot them over towards the right. Look out towards your left. And then come back through center. Holding on to the back of the thighs, we're gonna rock forward and back until we come to a seated position, crossing at the shins. Take your hands and place them down by the sides in a V. And then tuck your chin to the chest. We're just gonna roll the chin over to the right side. Right hand resting on the back edge of the head. Find some extension through your left fingertips. And then releasing that hand, chin to chest, we'll be over the opposite side. Left hand resting on the back edge of the head. Just find some extension. And then releasing that hand, chin to chest, draws the gaze at neutral. Inhale to sweep the hands up towards the sky. On the exhale, roll the wrists all the way down. Taking your palms to the top of the mat, we're gonna set up for a tabletop, shoulders in line with wrists, knees in line with the hips. We'll find cat cow. Inhale, look up, drop the belly. Exhale, round, press the mat away. A few more just like this. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, tilt the tailbone up. One more. 
And then finding that neutral spine, you're gonna keep your left hand grounded, reach and grab a hold of whatever weight you're utilizing and place it in the right palm. And then you're gonna take the elbow, pull it back, extend the arm straight, and then bend and tap the hand to the mat. You pull back, extend the arm straight, bend and tap. That's two, we're gonna do it for five. That's three. That's four. Last one, extend it back, now hold. Just keep lengthening back, allow the shoulder to reach back. And then bend into the elbow, you're gonna extend the arm forward. Head of the way facing up, take your left leg and reach it long back behind you, isometric fold. One more big breath in. On the exhale, elbow and knee, curl in for two, and then extend for two. Nice and slow, it's in for two, and then it's out for two. We have five, that's three. That's four. Last one. Extend it nice and long, hold it. Take your elbow and bend it and take your left knee and drop it to the mat. Reach your arm out in the diagonal to your right. Now drop it in and lift it up. Drop it in and lift it up. That's three. That's four. Last one, lift it up on the diagonal, hold it. Take your left foot and cross it back behind you. It's a modified side plank as right leg extends long. Hands reaching up. Take the elbow and bend it back and extend up to the sky. Bend it back and then reach it up. That's three. That's four. Last one, reach it up nice and high. Now take whatever weight you're utilizing and just start to reach it slightly over the head. You should feel some expansion through your obliques. A little bit more opening as we utilize that weight. Hold for two more breaths. And then being cognizant of that elbow, slowly bend and then release everything down to the mat. We're gonna switch it so right palm comes to the mat, spread the fingers wide. Left hand hold off. We bend the elbow, extend back, bend and tap. Pull back, extend, bend and tap. That's two. That's three. And last one, just extend back and hold it. Think about the arm reaching nice and long, spread the right fingers wide. And then bend into the elbow, reach the arm out in front of you, reach your right leg long back behind you. Find that balance, navel in the sun. Breath in, on the exhale for two, you pull in, and then you extend for two. Pull in for two, and then extend for two. Last one. Extend and hold it. Take your right leg and drop it down. Bend your left elbow. Now extend the arm out towards the side. You pull down and you lift up. Pull down and lift up to shoulders high. Last one, lift it up. Take your right foot and cross it back behind you. Left leg long, it's modified side plate. Reach your hands up towards the side, tuck your hips up. Take the elbow, bend it back behind you and then reach it up. Bend back and then reach up. That's Last one, bend back, reach it off, take that hand and reach it up and over your ear slightly to feel a little bit more expansion through side body. And then dropping that arm slowly down to the mat, releasing whatever you're utilizing of the weight, place it at the top of the mat, palms to the mat, tuck your toes and lift, downward facing dog. First down dog of practice. So bend and pedal out through the heels. You just feel a little bit more warm into the shoulders. And then finding stillness, you're gonna take your left knee and bend it only, left knee bends. Take your left toes and wrap it around the right ankle and gently encourage your Achilles towards the mat. And then we switch, left foot grounds, you're gonna take the right foot, hook it on that ankle, encouraging the heel down here. And then release, downward facing dog, just hold it, press your chest back. Take the feet and walk them all the way to the top of the mat. It's a forward fold. Interlace the fingers in the creases of the arms. Nice little bend through the knees. You can sway from side to side or just hold yourself in stillness. Last few. And then release any bind that you have. Bend the knees even further and slowly roll up. Head lifting last. Palms face forward, close your eyes. We'll take two solid breaths here. And then last one. Floating the eyes open, turn the palm in towards the midline, roll the shoulders up, back, and down, 
up, back, and down. One more, up, back, and down the pocket. Hold it there. Interlace the fingers. Lift your chest. On the exhale, we pull. Trying to keep the palms touching as the hands start to move over the body. We're going to bend the left leg, keep the right leg straight, and then open the right shoulder up towards the sky. Think about pulling the right hand with the left. And then switch it. Bend that right knee, left leg nice and straight. Think about pulling this left hand over to your right. And then draw back in through center. Last two breaths. Then release the right hand to the mat. Halfway lift and lengthen. Pull on the mat, step the right leg back, step the left leg back. Shift it forward, chaturanga, hold it. Roll it through upward facing dog, hold it. And downward facing dog, send it back. Taking the right leg, extend it up towards this guy. It's knee to nose. Stay, one more breath. Set the foot in between the hands, ground your back knee down, untuck the toes. Grab a hold of your weight and reach it up towards the sky. Palms are gonna face forward here. And you're gonna bend the arms to 90 and then lift it up. Arms to 90 and then reach up straight. Last one, bend to 90, hold it. Think about pulling the shoulder blades back. And then take the elbows, tuck into close. And then full open. It's in the close and then open. That's three. That's four. Last one, open it. Now take your hands and reach it down to the mat. Allow the weights to release on the side of the foot. Palms come to the mat, straighten out the right leg, it's toes to the sky. We just simply fold here. Getting into that hamstring a little bit more here, flex the toes up towards the sky. And then bending into the right leg, tuck your back toes, lift the knee, grab a hold of your waist. Keeping the chest off the thigh, we pull back to 90 and then extend long. Pull back, reach long. Last one, pull back to 90, extend the arms straight and bend. Extend and bend. That's three. That's four. Last one, extend it long and hold it. Listen, left leg meets the right. It's a chair with that lunge forward in the chest. Hands stay behind. Then take the legs, straighten them, reach the arms up towards the sky. And then exhale, bend and reach it back. Extend and lift. And then exhale, reach it back. That's three. That's four. Nice and slow. Use your core. Extend it back and hold it. And then fold it, release the weights top of the mat. Halfway lift and lengthen. Palm the mat, step it back. It's vinyasa, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, lift the chest. And downward facing dog, hips come high and back. Taking the left leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose, just hug it and hold it there. Weight should be shifting forward. Step the foot in between the hands, back feet. Ground it down, untuck the toes, grab a hold of your weights. Reach the arms up high, palms face forward. Take the arms, it's 90, and then we extend. 90, and then reach it up. That's three. That's four. Last one, hold it open. Now think about pulling your shoulder blades back and lifting your chest forward. Elbows, pull in, and then open. Close, and open. That's two. Last one. Open it and then close it. Drop the hands down to the mat. You're gonna start to straighten out this left leg. Toes up towards the sky. Both weights are gonna straddle that leg. Just drop your chest leg. And then bending into the left leg, tuck the back toes. Chest lifting off that left thigh. Grab a hold of your weight. You pull back to 90 and then you extend arms straight. Pull back, extend. Last one, pull it back, you extend, and then bend. Extend, and bend. Find your breath, that's three. That's four, last one, extend it back, hold it there. Think about the shoulders reaching long behind you. And then right leg meets the left, it's this chair lunge shape. Can you sink the hips a little lower? Hands still reaching back. And then listen, straighten the legs, pull the elbows in, now we close, or open, and close. Open, and close. Close. Last one, 
open it. Now take arm, extend them out and pull it in. Extend out and pull it in. Last one, extend it out and hold it. Press the shoulder blades back so you can open the chest a little further. Hold for five, four, three, two, and then release it down. Wave to the top of the mat. Halfway lift and lengthen. Palm the mat, we step it back. It's chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Taking the right leg, reach it up towards the sky. It's knee to nose. Inhale to extend it high. Exhale, knee to nose. Now chaturanga, bend the elbow slightly and hold it. Straighten the arms and the leg up towards the sky. Set the foot in between the hands. You're at high crescent. Grab a hold of the weight. This time, palms face in towards you. And then you take the arms, extend them out in front of you. Shoulders aren't reaching forward. The navel is in. Take the arms, pull back, and then reach forward. Pull back, and then reach forward. That's three. That's four. Reach forward and hold it. Reach the arms back up towards the sky. It's warrior two. So palms turn down. Make sure you have that heel to heel alignment. Now take the arm, drop them down, and then reach them up. Arms stay straight, tap down, and then reach up. That's three. That's four. Last one, reach it up and hold it. You're going to take the head to the weight, tap them into close together, and then open. Tap them into close together and open. So start to fill your shoulders. Last one, tap up into close. Now open and hold it. Can you lift the hands a little high? Take the left hand, bring it to the back thigh. Reach the right hand back behind you. Palm is facing down. Take the right elbow, bend to tap the side, and then reach it up. Right elbow, bend to tap the side, and then reach it up. That's three. That's four. Last one, bend to tap the side and reach it up. And then come back through warrior two. Take both heads of the weight, straddle that front leg, come onto the back toes, heel lifts. Take the right hand and reach it open. Now close to tap the right foot. Reach it open, close to tap the foot. You're probably starting to get the gist of this now. You're gonna really work into those shoulders. That's three. That's four. Last one, lift it up, hold it. We're not swinging the weight, utilize the strength. And then place that at the top of the mat, both straddle the right leg, send that back foot forward, release the hold, and drop your chest into period. And then grounding through your right leg, left leg meets it without the waist, it's chair, move the top step. Good opportunity to notice the difference in holding. Hands kind of prayer, right center, twist it over to the right, left elbow hooked. Can you sink the hips nice and low? Right shoulder, roll it back. And then come back to the center of the chest, reach the hands high. Exhale, fold hands to the mat. Halfway lift, palm the mat. It's vinyasa. Option to skip it, option to modify on or off the knees. You take what works for you. We meet at downward facing dog. Taking the left leg, reach it up towards this guy. It's knee to nose. One more time, inhale to reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose, hug it and hold it. I'll try to run up in the elbows low. Straighten the arms, extend the leg up towards the sky. Step left foot in between the hands. It's high crescent. This time palms, once again, they're facing in. Take the arms and reach them out in front of you without leaning forward, pull the shoulder blades back. Elbows pull back and then extend. Pull and then reach. Last one, reach up forward, now hold it. Take the arms and reach them up towards the sky. It's warrior two. Heel to heel alignment is we're going to start to feel that bold movement of the shoulders. Tap it down and then reach it up. Tap and then reach up hand in line with the shoulder. That's three. That's four. Can you sink it lower into the hips? Hold the arms up. Now take the heads of the weight. Tap it in toward the chest and then reach it open. Close and open. That's three. Last one, reach it up and hold it. Can you lift the arms a little higher? Peaceful warrior, right hand comes to the back thigh. Make sure left palm, you turn it down to face the back of the mat. 
Take the left elbow, bend a tap the side, and then up and over the ear. We bend a tap, and then reach it up. Last one, utilize the strength here, reach it up and over. And then core engages you into warrior two, arms out. Both heads of the weights come down towards the mat. Take the back heel and lift it, right palm stays down, reach the left hand up towards the sky, and then close. Like you're opening that car door, and then close. Use the strength of the arms. Last one, open and lift the chest. Without swinging the weight, drop the left onto the mat. Both weights straddle the leg. Release the hold, send the back leg forward, pyramid, chest to thumb. And then right leg meets the left. It's chair, ukatasa. Release the arms up, hips lift. Hands kind of prayer, which is over towards the left. Right elbow hooks to the thigh. Roll the left shoulder blade over. And then come back to center, so the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, fold. Moving the weights on the way if need be. Halfway lift and lengthen. Palm the mat, send it back into a plank. Shift it forward, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, chest lifts, thighs stay lifted. And downward facing dog. Take one more breath here. Extend the right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to reach it up. Exhale, knee to nose. You have one more. Inhale, high. Shift the weight into the palms, chaturanga, bend the elbows, and hold. Now straighten the arm, it's side plank, three legs. Left hand down, right hand reaches up towards the sky. If this doesn't work, that right foot is out in front of you like a prop. One more breath. You're gonna take your right foot and step it to the top of the mat, however best suits you. It's runner's lunge, grab a hold of your weight. Find your breath here, please, lift the chest. Take the hands and reach them out in front of you and breathe and stay. It's an isometric pull. Chest is still leaning forward. High crescent, use the core to rise and reach it up. Warrior three. Turn the palms up, up towards the sky. Now take the heads of the weight and tap into your shoulders and then extend. We close and we open. Last one, open, now take the heads of the weight and tap, and then open. Heads of the weights, tap, and open. The only difference now, our palms are facing up. That's three, that's four. Last one, hold the weights together. Now bring the arms into an O shape. So arms are in the shape of an O here. Can you press it nice and close together? Activate the inner part of your arms. One more breath. Release the arms back out. Keep the warrior. Left hand back leg, right hand up and over the ear. Both hands straddle that front leg. Come onto the back toes, lift your heel. Take the right hand with your weight, reach it up towards the sky. Now, can you hide the elbow back and lift it up? You're going to have to create a little bit more of a twist. That's two. That's three. Last one, pull it back. Now, reach it up. Both hands straddle front leg, keep the weight. Send the back leg forward, it's pyramid, chest to thigh. Find your balance, lift the chest on the diagonal. Can you take your arms and reach them back behind you? Palms should be facing in. It's a little bit more of a balance challenge. Ground through that standing right leg, left leg lifts, warrior three. One more breath. Stork, knee to nose, rise, extend the hands up towards the sky, find that balance. And then take your arms and bring them back to that O shape. Take your left leg and reach it out long, flex the foot. Now open the arms and close it. Open and close. Last one, close the arms, keep that left leg nice and lifted. Bend into your left knee and meet it to the right. Release the weights down, keep the knees bent, reach the hands up towards the sky. Hands kind of prayer, we're twisting over to the right. Options, open up your arms, find some expansion. Maybe you just keep the hands at prayer. And then come back there, center, reach the hands high. On the exhale, we fold. Halfway lift, palm the mat, step it back into a plank. You have two, shift your forward, chaturanga down and up. One more time, chaturanga down, hold it. Roll it through, up the facing dog. It's downward facing dog. 
Take one right here. Take it out, left leg, reach it up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale to extend it high. Exhale, knee to nose. Last time, inhale up. It's knee to nose, hold it, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Straighten the arms, side plank, three legs. Right palm down, left palm reaches up towards the sky. Taking that left foot, however it's easiest for you, step it to the top of the mat. Take your hold of weight, reach it out in front of you. So you're on a slight lean, breathe. High crescent, zip everything out to reach the hands up towards the sky. Warrior two, open. Turn the weights up so palms are facing up. Hands, tap the shoulders and then open. Tap it in and then open. That's three, can you shake the hips a little lower? That's four. Last one, open it and hold it. Now, heads of the weights, tap to close, and then we open. Tap to close and open. That's three, breathe. Last one, hold it, close. Now turn the palms in towards one of this. You create this O shape of the arms. Press it together, make it harder than it actually is. Think the hips a little lower. Elbows stay lifted. Back to warrior two as we open. Peaceful warrior. Left hand reaches up and over your ear. Travel back down. Utilize the weights. Both hands straddle that front leg. Lift your back heel. Now take your left hand and reach it up towards the sky. Elbow bends and extend it up. Left arm you bend and then reach it up. Last one. Hide the elbow. Reach it up and hold it. Now both weights straddle your front leg, send the back leg forward, pyramid. Take your weights and reach them back behind you. Chest is staying lifted off the thigh. You may shake a little bit. The core is what's keeping you in balance. Grounding through the left leg without walking out the knee, it's airplane. Right leg lifts. Ooh, that's my balance here. Last two. And then stork knee to nose. Reach the hands up. And then you're gonna bring your hands into that O shape. Take your right leg, extend it long. Try to keep it lifted. Open the arms and close. Open and close. We're not leaning back, that's three. That's for last one, close it. Bend the right leg, meet it to your left. Sink the hips down, release the weights. Hands up towards those guys. Hands kind of prayer, twist it over towards your left. Hook the elbow. Maybe you find that expansion here. Maybe you just keep your arms bent. And then come back first and reach the hands up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift. Palm the mat. Step it back into a plank. Hold it here. It's two times. Shoot it forward, chaturanga down and up. One more time. Hold it low. Roll it through. Upward facing dog to downward facing dog. Child for those toes come to touch knees wide. Hands back towards the heels. Reach your hands forward. Great opportunity to reassess. Notice, is the breath like a wave, right? It's kind of crashing and going. Maybe it's not that steady feel. Can you find a big inhale to four and a big exhale to four? And last two. And then when you're ready, if you need a few extra moments, by all means, take that. When you're ready, press into your palms. We're gonna shift it forward and lift downward facing dog. One more here. And then turn your knees to the top of the mat, hop, step foot, whatever gets you there. Grab hold of the weights and just come all the way up. Just close your eyes for a moment. You're gonna keep that whole look is nice and loose. One more breath. And then floating the eyes open, ground through the right leg. You're gonna keep the hold of the weights. You're gonna find tree with the legs first. So don't worry so much about the arms. Take the left foot and meet it to the inside of the right. And then you're gonna take your weights and bring them back into that O shape. So we've been here. Take the arms, here's your challenge. Reach it up and over your head. And then lower down to shoulders, height. Up and over, lower down to shoulders. All right, who's ready for the last bit? Lift it up and over your head, isometrical. Take the elbows, bend it down all the way to tap the sides, and then reach it up. A little bit harder here as we practice that balance. Find that drifty, that's two. 
that's three. Last one, pull it back down, hold it. Keep the palms nice and light, fingers nice and light on the weight. Just keep the elbows pulling back. Maybe close your eyes, last two. And then take the left leg and curl it back in through center. Take the elbows and pull it in. You're gonna take your left leg and reach it long. Palms are gonna be facing down this time. It's airplane. Left leg extends back. Lower your left foot all the way to the back of the mat. Now take the weight and place it at the top of the mat. Turn your palms towards you, tent your fingers. Take your left knee and tap it to the back of the right. Now lightly tap to the back of the mat. Tap it in and tap it back. To be nice and low, that's three. That's four. Last one, tap it in, hold it. Can you lift your hands off the mat? Hands come to prayer. Now take your left knee and drop it all the way down to the mat. Thread it behind the right and sink your hips nice and low. Left hand's gonna wrap that right thigh and right hand comes behind you. Bring your chest back to neutral and forward. Take your hands back behind you, bring your feet to the mat, knees to the sky and situate yourself in the middle of the mat. Grab hold of the weight and you're gonna take them out in front of you. Palms are gonna face down. Take the right leg and lift it, take your left leg and lift it. Now reach the hands forward as if you're tapping the ankles and then lean everything back long. Reach forward like you're tapping the ankles and lean it back. That's five. You can do five more, come on, that's five. Four. Last one, extend it long, now hold it. Can you drop the weights a little lower? Feel the abdominals engage. Three, four, five, four, three, two. Drop the feet to the mat, knees bend. Reach your hands up towards the sky, head drops. You're gonna lift your hips up towards the sky. It's an isometric hold with the hips up high. Palms are gonna be facing forward. Now take the elbows, you bend, tap towards the mat, and then lift it up. Bend, tap, and lift. Listen, bend, tap, lift. Now drop the hips, bend, tap, and lift. Drop the hips, bend, tap, and lift. That's three, four, last one. Lift it up, isometric, hold, stay there. Last two breaths. Drop your hips down to the mat, keep your hands up towards the sky, lift the knees and the ankles, tap, and then reach the hands up overhead. Tap, extend long, chest stays lifted. That's three. That's four. Last one, hands up overhead. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Five, four, three, two, and release it without throwing the weights virtually at me. Place them to the side, sway the legs from side to side. Just get that out. And then make sure you have your weights by your sides. You're gonna cross at the ankles and come up to a seated position. Place the weights at the top of the mat. Now reach your hands up towards the side. Left hand outside of the right thigh, right hand comes behind you and gaze back. And then come back to your center, reach the hands up, we twist over to the opposite. Twist to your left, look over your left shoulder. And then extend up towards the sky. Palms come to the top of the mat, we're back at that plank. Right leg back, left leg back. Shift it forward, chaturanga down and up. It's three, down and up. Last time, hold it, roll it through, upward facing God. Hands high and back, downward facing God. Hop, step, walk, top of the mat, forward fold. You know where we're going? Grab a hold of the weight, palms face forward. Just come up to stand, close your eyes, relax the shoulder blades back. And they're nice and light on those weights. And then when you're ready, float the eyes up and ground through your left leg this time. It's tree. Right foot comes to the crease. Once you have the bottom part of your body stabilized, bring your arms to that ocean. Can you think about pressing that right knee back? It's a lot of balance here as we transition more weight to the top of the body. Take your arms, bring up and over, and then lower. It's up above the head, and then down to shoulders high. Last one, can you keep it over? Utilize the core to find that balance. Now, same as before, elbows tap into close, and then lift. Tap into close, and then lift. 
Last one. Hide the elbows behind the body and stay just like that. Take the right knee. That's the only thing that moves. Turn it in. Take the hands and reach them back. Palms are still going to face down. You're going to get into the triceps. Extend that right leg long. Keep it lifted. And then take the right foot and lower down to the mat. Left knee bends. Take your weight. Place it to the top of the mat. Turn the palms towards you and tip the finger. Stay low in the left knee. Right knee taps it and then lift it back. We tap it in and we lift it back. Last one, tap it in, option, lift the fingertips off the mat, get the palms to touch, hips stay nice and low. And then right knee lowers to the outside of your left foot, drop the hips down. Take your right hand, wrap it around the leg, left hand comes behind you, gaze back. And then transition back through center, palms to the mat, fingers are forward, release the bind of the legs, hips at the middle of the mat. You know we're grabbing those legs, so grab hold of them. Take your arms and bring them to that O shape this time. Lift your legs up. And we just have this isometric pulse. Great. You're going to take everything and lean it back. Keep the arms in the O shape. Now, right elbow taps the left elbow taps the right. And then we twist. You twist and twist. My husband says he's using wine bottles next time because he decided to go with the five pounders, right? Maybe you're using a little bit more weight than you anticipated you need here, but there we go. Here we are. We'll take one more full set. And then find yourself at center. Reach your hands out in front of you. Tap the heads of the weights down and lift. Tap the heads of the way down and lift. It's only five. That's three. That's four. Tap and lift. Hold it. Reach the chest a little higher forward. And then bend the knees. Release it down. Hands reach up. You're going to lift your hips back up towards the sky. Here's your bridge. Now, without hitting your neighbor, if one exists, you're going to take the arms and bring them out and then tap it in. Bring them out to a T and then all the way in. There we go. All right, we'll take two more. Last one. Lift it up now, hold it. Breathe. And drop the hips down to the mat. You're gonna lift the knees into the chest. Reach up and touch towards the ankles. And then we just take the legs only, extend them out, and you pull them in. Legs only, extend, and then you pull. Last one, extend out long. Now take the hands and reach them over the head. You swim, 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 swim. Five, four, three, two, and one. Release the head down, knees into the chest. You're gonna release the weights down by the sides. Sway the legs, side to side. And then come back through center, draw the knees in, hold onto the back of the thighs, crossing the opposite ankle on top, if you can remember. Reach the hands up towards the sky. We twist to the left first. Push over towards the left, left hand behind you, gaze back. And then come back, we're gonna reach the hands up towards the sky. And then twist over to the opposite. Twist to your right, gaze over your right shoulder. And then come back, we're gonna reach the hands up. On the exhale, you're gonna place the hands on by the sides, grab a hold of your weight, place them at the top of the mat. We meet at that table, or we meet at that plank pose. Table two plank. You only have three, I know it's three. Shift it forward, chaturanga down and up. That's one. That's two. Last one, low, hold it. Roll it through, upper facing guard. Hips high and back, downward facing guard. Walking all the way to the top of the mat. To your last bit here, deep down on knees. Without the weights, come up to stand. Right leg round, it's tree. Left foot to the inside. The only thing I want you to do is focus on how maybe it's a little easier now to balance. You decide where the hands go, shoulders relax down. Gather your breath, try to slow it here. And then maybe you close your eyes like we talked about earlier, right? We learn in the spaces that we challenge our body. And last one. Take your left leg, pick it in the end through center, extend it back. Keep that leg lifted, reach your hands back behind you, find balance. 
Now take your right knee and just bend it low. Keep that left leg lifted, so you're gonna need to lift a little higher to counteract. Drop the palms down to the mat, lower your back foot. Drop the palms, bring the knee to nose, keep the back flat, right leg extend for two, and then bend in for two. Right leg out for two, and then in for two. One more time, extend up, three-legged reach it up, knee to that right elbow, it's pigeon. All that's a good pigeon, right? Left leg drops down, find the lift of your heart first, and then when you're ready, release the chest. And whatever you're feeling in this posture, right? Maybe it's physical tension, maybe it's mental. And you just utilize the breath to slow the body and start to let some things go. Last few breaths here. And then start to press your chest up. Tend the fingers so you can see if you can get a little bit more height through the chest. And then drop the palms firmly down. Tuck your left toes and meet a downward facing go. Pedal out, then from side to side. And then when you're ready, find some stillness. If you want a vinyasa to rinse that out, by all means do that. We'll meet a downward facing go. I'll give a few more breaths here. And then when you're ready, we all come forward into a plank. We lower all the way down nice and slow. Take your right arm only, extend it out into a T or into cactus. If it's in a cactus, you're gonna get a little bit more, but you decide what works for you. Right cheek to the mat, left cheek to the sky, left palm to the mat. Stack the hips as you start to roll over on towards that. and then slowly come back to center. We just switch over to the opposite side. You may find that one side's a little different. Left arm either comes out to a cactus or a T. Stack the hips and roll. Maybe one foot comes to the mat, or maybe both feet are just on top of one another. Take about three more breaths. And then nice and slow, come back through center. Belly down to the mat, take your hands right about where the chest would be on the sides, roll the shoulders up, back and down, up, back and down, one more. And then keeping the shoulders down, tuck your toes, lift up into a plank to downward facing go. We're gonna walk on our hop, step, whatever gets you there, top of the mat. Deep bend the knees, no weights, just yourself, come all the way up to stand. Left leg is gonna stay grounded, right foot comes to the inside. Finishing up our standing postures here. Hands could be down, they could be a prayer. You could close your eyes. Make it unique and your own way. Last one. Taking that right knee, travel it back in through center. Take the hands, reach it back. You're gonna find this a little bit easier, right? You should feel lighter now that you're not holding the weight. Take a deep bend in the standing leg. Now lift the right leg up a little higher to counteract. Drop the palms down to the mat, drop the right toes. Take your left knee to nose, back should be flat. You extend and then just pull in. Left leg extends and pulls in. One more time, three-legged, reach it up, hips high to pigeon pose. Knee to wrist, lower the back knee down, untuck your toes. Maybe take your hips back. Try to square the hips as much as possible, and then when you're ready, you lower down to release. We're gonna hold it the same amount of time that we did on the other side.
And last few breaths. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, the face. And then slowly start to press up into the palms, tip the fingers. Idea here is you're gonna find a little bit more space to press back. And then drop the palms down to the mat, navel into the spine, tuck the back toes in the knee in if need be, and meet at downward facing dog. Pedal it out, shift the weight, same as before. If you want a vinyasa to rinse that out, by all means do that. Otherwise, you do what works for you. And then you're going to shift the weight forward into a plank when you're ready. Lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes. So sometimes I get really crazy looks when I do this pose. Do what works for you. You're going to take your left arm and bring it over towards the right side of your mat. Take your right arm and spread it over. So for many people, it's going to look like this, right? You're going to be up quite high. Arms could be in a shape of an X, they may be a little bit more out to the sides or forward, depending upon how much space you have in the shoulders. Just allow the chin to relax on top of the shoulders. If you want more, tuck the toes under and send weight forward. Two more rests. By lifting the chin off of the arms, keep your right arm where it is. It's over to the left. If you forgot, take your left arm, release it, and left arm threads over the right now. Same as before. Maybe you tuck the toes and send some weight forward, or just pause exactly where you are. And then lifting chin off of the arms, you're going to unthread the arms. Take the arms to 90 degrees, tent your fingers so that the elbows are in line with the wrists. Lift your chest up. Now drop your right shoulder in, look over your left without punching into the glutes. Come back through center and do the opposite. Left shoulder in, look over to your right. And then come back through center. One last lift on the inhale. Exhale, release. Palms come by the chest, you're gonna press up into a table. And then send your feet over to the right side of the mat. Left foot stacks on the right ankle. Left foot, right ankle. Hips come to the opposite side of the mat. Take your right hand, right hand, bring it to the left thigh. Now left hand reaches up and over. It's a figure eight of the arms if you're thinking about it. Think about pulling the right hand into the left thigh as left hand reaches up and over the and then slowly release the left elbow down. Take your right leg and swing it over your left. Sit up nice and straight on the exhale, you fold. It could look like a figure four, right? If you need to modify that, that would be your posture. Otherwise it is a shoelace, chest lowers to the top of the right thigh. And then bringing the chest back up. Keep your left foot where it is. Right leg comes out in front of you. Reach the hands up towards the sky. You're working to that hamstring. Drop the chest towards that extended right leg. Try to keep the shoulders square and even. And then come back up. Take the left hand to the outside of your left glute. Palm is down. Point the right toes forward. Roll onto your left knee, lift the head up, reach the right hand up and over for your hip. You're just finding some expansion. And then slowly release. Keep your hands back behind you. You're going to take the feet over towards the left side of the mat. Right ankle stacked on top of the left. Feet to the left. There we go. Right ankles or right foot stacks on the left ankle. Left hand holds onto the right thigh and then just reach over. You're hinting to your left side.
and then nice and slow drop the right elbow take your left leg and spread it on top of the right some of you may be like this is a lot of mental work right now <laughs> we're almost done i promise left is on top of the right sit up nice and straight and drop your chest and fold And then slowly walk back up. You're gonna take your left leg and bring it forward. Just release the right foot to the inside of that left thigh. Take your forward, John is your socks. Now reach the hands up and then fold, chest lowers. And then slowly use the core, come back up. Right hand to the outside of the right glute. Palms should be facing, or fingers should be facing the direction of the knee. Roll onto your right knee, sweep the left hand, left hand over your ear. And then slowly release the down. Keep your hands back behind you, just turn the fingers forward. Bring the feet to the mat, knees to the sky, legs at almost a like three quarter bend. Hips come to your heels, sink back into the top of the shoulder. Bring a little bit more weight to the right side and then just hold it like that. And then bring a little bit more weight to the left side and hold it like that. And then come back through center, finding that neutrality, just press the chest up, sink the tailbone down. And then gripping through the fingers, lift your hips only halfway back so they're more towards the middle of the mat. Feet come together, keep them about a forearm's distance away. Hold on to the feet, lengthen the crown, and then we fold, chest lowers. And then working your way back up, we're gonna make our way onto our spine. Separate the feet, bring the feet to the mat. Hands to the middle of the mat if they're not already there. Drop the head down, two fine position, knees into the chest, just sway from side to side. Now I took a twist at the beginning, so just amp that up a little bit further. Take your left leg and reach it out long. So the right leg is the only one curling in towards you. You're gonna drop that right knee over towards your left side and then take your arm of that right arm and bring it out into the looking over towards the right side close your eyes your shoulder on the right side may be lifting like mine right that's okay you just do what your body will allow to do. and then come back through center keep the left leg as it is hips to the mat holding on to the bottom of the right foot it's either holding the back of the side of the foot on the right side or piece fingers to big toe. Encouraging that right knee down here, right shoulder down. And one. And then you're gonna take your right foot and tap it to meet your left. Take the ankle and stack it on top. So right ankle stacks on top of the left. Hands reach up and over your head to create an O shape. Walk your shoulders over to the left side. You should feel expansion through the side body. This is called banana pose. You should be in the shape of a banana. I see this a lot where people are like laying on their side and their shoulders are lifting. Try to ground the elbows, ground the shoulders and back down to the mat. And then bring the head back through center, bring the shoulders back through center. Hands release down, release the right ankle from on top of the left and curl the left leg in towards your chest. Left leg is in, right leg is long. You're gonna find that twist as we drop the knee over towards the right side. Left arm comes out into it and gaze up to your left side. And then bring the hips, both of them back down to the mat. Half happy baby, holding onto the outer blade of the foot or peace fingers to big toe. If neither of these work, 
hold on to the ankle, hold on to the shin, wherever is accessible, we're all at a different point in our practice. And then taking the left foot, release it to tuck your right ankle and then stack it on top. Hands come up over the head in the shape of an L. Walk your shoulders over towards the right, keeping the feet on the exact same side as your shoulders. And then come back through center with the shoulders first and then release the bite of the ankles. It's both knees into the chest for our final inversion. It could be full happy baby. It could be shoulder stand. If you've been practicing with me, for me, it's been waterfall with hands underneath me. But you decide we'll hold this for about four solid deep breaths. Whichever posture that you are taking, just make sure the knees is up and that the chin is not attached to the chest or the chin is not reaching up towards the side. Last two. And then very, very gently, wherever you are, start to make your way out. Our final posture. Feet come together, knees are wide. One hand rests on the belly, one hand rests on the heart. We're gonna take three breaths here together. Take a deep inhale through the nose, hold it at the top, and exhale, side out. Two more times, inhale fully, hold it at the top, exhale, release. Last one, big breath in. And exhale, full release. Take the hands in and reach them down by the sides. Option to keep the legs as they are or extend them out long. It's your Shavasana, close your eyes. And then very gently start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, allowing the breath to expand here. And then rolling over onto your favorite side. Knees in, just holding there for a few more breaths. And then pressing up to a seated position, eyes closed. Hands in front, heart center. Taking this final moment, my gratitude on this sunny, warm Saturday. Gratitude for the ability to be on the mat. 
present here and now. When drawing hands to third eye center, the light in me sees and honors the light in each and everyone. Namaste, yogis. Thanks for joining me. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend, guys. See ya. I'm trying to figure out how to end this. Thank you. That was awesome. You're welcome. Thanks for coming, guys. Have See a ya. Great weekend. You too.